Well, hey there, welcome to day 23, day 23 already of the Get Up and Go Challenge. I hope that you are making progress. I hope you're doing the daily assignments. I'm trusting that you are. If you're not commenting, then I don't know. And guess what? It's always 100% up to you what you choose to do and not to do. I like to think that I'm breaking it down so that it's easy enough to actually do the things every day. Today might be and might feel like a little bit bigger day, although all I'm going to have you do, I wrote it down when I say, is we are going to... Oh, this is an easy one. It's going to sound hard, but it's going to really be easy. What you have to share is super duper easy. Okay, so I want us to at least go through the challenge process one more time completely before the end of the challenge because the more we repeat a process, the more we do something, it becomes our own. We, we tweak it and we twist it a little bit and we decide, oh, you know, well, I really want to research before I do this or whatever. And you can do that with every process, everything you learn, you always want to make it your own so that you'll actually use it going forward. You can show people stuff. And I mean, I'm going back during this COVID-19 pandemic, I'm getting time to go back and look at other things and look at things I've done in the past. Look at, I'm doing a 30 day challenge, read 30 books in 30 days. Now for somebody legally blind, this is a, a real, push for a challenge but I'm going back through my stacks of books and I picked out 30 and I'm just going through them now we're not luckily reading them cover to cover but we're pulling out the key important pieces of information that we want to achieve one goal or to move us forward in our lives uh, we have an objective for it over the 30 days and that's what we want to do with everything so actually what Avil the lady that's leading it is doing is she is teaching us the process of how to go through and skim and pull the information that you need out of a nonfiction book quickly easily and efficiently and we'll have done it 30 times by the time we're done with the challenge now these first couple days I gotta tell you we started on Friday and it's been really hard to do and get through and pull out the information. And then there's, you know, been a book or two, one for sure, that I wanna go back after the 30 days and I know I wanna read that book cover to cover. It speaks to me and I know that that's the information I need personally right now. So I wanna go back and read that book. So that's another side benefit of the challenges. I'm finding books that I've had sitting on my shelf, maybe some of them, I bought a couple, but a lot of them I've had either in my Kindle or on my bookshelf for maybe a decade or more. And I haven't made the time to read them. And so now is a huge opportunity for me to do that. So she's teaching us our process as we go along through the challenge. And that's the same thing I do with each and every one of my challenges. I want to make sure that you understand and learn and practice the foundational process so that when you're done, you can do it yourself over and over and over again and achieve the results that you want in any area of your life because you've got this cool process and this way of doing things now that you might not, you've always had it, but you might have stumbled around and not gone through it as easily before. So today, I want us to look at one of the seven main areas of our life. Physical, you know, your physical well-being, your health, your mindset, or your emotional. So physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, relationships, contribution, or financial. I want you to pick one of those areas. You probably have already been picking one and worked through that area. If you want to continue to work and go through the process again on your same first area, maybe finances for you is a biggie and you want to do that one again. You did it as we started the challenge and you want to just give it another, another really strong going up, then go ahead and pick that. I was going to do health because that's an easy one for me to talk through and give examples for. And I was challenged in another challenge to come up with a relationship plan. And I realized as I was looking at and analyzing my 1 to 10 ranking of relationships, it's only about a 5. And a 5 isn't good enough for me. I want it to be, you know, better than a 5, right? It's, it's just average. And it's probably below average in some ways if I'm analyzing all of my relationships, not just one area. You know, one area brings the whole group down, right? Um, when you're doing averages. So I committed on my homework for that challenge, the Rise Up Challenge today. It's a 20 day challenge that I'm doing on the side uh, that I would go through the area of relationships on the challenge process and that I would do it live on my Get Up and Go Challenge. Now, this is hard for me because I'm doing it on the fly. I had planned on doing health and I just thought, oh, I can go through health really easily. Relationships, I don't think it's going to be that easy for me because it's going to make me really ask myself some questions about certain types of relationships to come up with a relationship plan. So let's quickly look at the challenge process. I'm going to just flash this up on the screen. And I'll share it in the comments below again too. But remember, it's what do I want? So what do I want um, with respect to relationships? Well, like everybody else, 
I want to have awesome relationships. I want to have good relationships in all areas and aspects in my life. I want to have great relationships with my customers, which I pretty much do. I want to have, I don't, I don't work with people I don't want to work with anymore. And that was a long time coming, but I learned from some really um, tough examples that you, you get to choose. That's the coolest thing about having your own business and doing your own thing. We get to choose who we want to work with, right? Every single day. Sometimes when you're an employee and you work for a company, you just have to interact with the people that they've selected for you to interact with. So sometimes your coworkers aren't the easiest to get along with. Sometimes you're not the easiest to get along with, me included. Sometimes the customers of that business aren't the easiest to get along with, right? And they're not necessarily the type of people that you would individually choose to serve. With your own business, you get to choose them. So the cool thing about this is I get to ask myself, well, what do I want with respect to relationships? What do I want with respect to my romantic relationships? Which I will say that is the one area of my life that I've allowed to be zero for a really long time. And I've, I've let that bring my overall relationship score down because if that's, well, I guess one, maybe a one. If it's a one, because I'm choosing to have it be a one, um, that's dragging down all of the other relationships in my life, right? It's dragging down my relationship with my children. It's dragging around, down my relationship with myself. And that's the most important relationship, right? So what do I want it to be? What do I want my, um, my life to be like with respect to relationships? And each, not just each of the different categories and, and you can decide what are the categories of relationships for you with you know your siblings your 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 close family with your friends with your co-workers with your um, vendors and business associates with your children or um, and your significant other you can break that down into any way that you want but what do you want it to be like I have to decide and write down in each of those areas what I want it to be like um, and I can ask myself, well, what, what do I not want? And I can clearly and 100% say, I do not want a significant other relationship like my marriage was. Um, so even if I don't know exactly what I do want, which I do in some areas, I know exactly what I don't want and I can just create the opposite of that, right? I was in a super duper controlling, negative, uh, verbally abusive relationship. I want a nurturing, positive, um, support one another loving kind relationship right and then I have to ask myself where am I now with respect to relationships that's step two right so the first one is what's what's the problem or the challenge of the situation I'm facing and we're picking an entire area of our life right an aspect of our life because we want to find something that we can do to move us in the in the direction that makes us feel better for this area of our life that's our challenge so what is the challenge what is the problem what is what is the situation we're facing so mine is I need to come up with a relationship plan right um, and so I know what I don't want and I can take the opposite of that to determine what I do want and the next step is to ask myself where am I um, where am I at right now with respect to relationships and this is the most embarrassing for me so I'm gonna say romantic relationships and I'll talk through this with respect to that right significant other relationship um, so I, I just said what I don't want so now I know what I do want um, I know where I'm at I've been divorced for what it's 25 years now just over five years and have chosen to focus on my work and my kids and my health and everything except romantic relationships um, and I've done that on purpose so my current situation is I have no romantic involvements um, what are the possibilities? This is the step, step three, where we analyze and we look at and we research what are options, what are the possibilities? So <laughs> I guess I have to research what are the possibilities for me to have a significant other, to, for me to get in a new romantic relationship. And what are all the different ways of doing that? Well, of course there's online dating, which turns my stomach the thought of it. Um, Right now, we're not going out and interacting with people. On social media, we can interact with people, but I do not believe, I use social media for business. I don't use it for interacting with people, but that's, again, there's a whole lot of beliefs and thoughts and feelings and emotions tied up in all of this that I need to, I need to look at. And I need to ask myself, are those thoughts and beliefs and emotions and feelings, are they moving me toward what I want or are they moving me away from what I want? The vast majority of my current beliefs about significant others are moving me away from what I want. If I'm saying I want, and I have to say, do I really want a significant 
uh, other relationship. And I have to commit to wanting that before I will allow that into my life. But I have to research and look at what are all the possibilities of me finding a romantic relationship. And then the next step after that is I need to select one of those options. I have to say, okay, what are all the options and what is the best one for me right now? And then I have to pick one and I have to say, okay, well, how am I going to explore? That's the action step, right? I have to take action to decide which one of those alternatives I'm going to test. Then I'm going to test it. I'm going to go out and try it. <laughs> Maybe I have to put up a, a social media dating site profile, you know, farmers.com or whatever it is. <laughs> I'm going to laugh right out loud on this. But I have to decide to take some action and some step toward finding that significant other relationship. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to take that action and I'm going to see what happens. Does that action make me feel better? Does setting a profile up on an online dating site make me feel better or worse? Right? This second, it makes me feel worse and it's like I'm not doing it. So what else is possible? What's another alternative? Uh -huh. The other thing, you know, I could meet people through friends, not that people are getting together, but, but you know, there's all different ways. So we have to look at that. Then we look at the result of what happened. So my friend Joe sets me up with John. We go on a date. We hit it off. We start dating, right? Or we start seeing each other more. Um, <laughs> so what happened? That would be moving me toward what I want, a relationship. Or my friend Sandy sets me up with Bill and Bill and I go on a date and he's just a total lunker and he can't stand me He thinks I'm overwhelming and overbearing and ridiculous, but you know, that's okay. I am to some people uh, So that would be moving me away for from what I want or it's actually helping me to sift and sort to find the person that I am In alignment with and so the person that's in alignment with me can find me uh, And then will I make this and turn this into a process? I I am gonna say with respect to my personal uh, love life and relationships I'm gonna say no except when I find that person and I establish that relationship I will turn aspects of our relationship into a process things like date nights things like how we treat one another how we talk to one another uh, things about like the the way we do things and how often and frequently we do different things we will turn some of those things into a process I love date nights my parents my entire life had a date night when we kids were growing up and as much as we girls hated to see our parents go out on a Friday night every Friday night they would go out on a date night for as long as I can remember and I went on a lot of those when I was um, living back home during different times of my life sometimes I'd go out to dinner with them but that's not really a date night right so <laughs> but they always had a date night and they always made time for each other so that's just an example of running through the challenge process really, really quickly with respect to another area, another aspect of my life. And in this instance, it's relationships. And it's really a clunky personal one. And I wasn't planning on doing it, but I figured it was a homework for another challenge. So why not really challenge myself to look at an area of my life that I've been pretty much totally ignoring for the last five years and probably longer than that, but especially for the last five years. So our challenge today, your assignment today is to Take another area or the same area of your life, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial contribution or relationships, and run it through this process. And all you have to do today is share one action that you're going to take. So go through the process and say, this is what I'm going to do. And, and so for me, I, I don't know what it's going to be yet. I want to say, I, I'll phone a friend. I will phone a friend and ask them if they know anybody that I should know and I should meet from a romantic standpoint. Okay, if you guys don't think that that is a comfort zone stretching activity for me, you don't know me at all. That is a huge comfort zone. But that's, my, that's what I'm committing to right now. I will phone a friend. I'm writing it down. I'm gonna say phone a friend for a referral. <laughs> and by referral, I mean somebody that might be of interest to me or that I might be of interest to them because it's a it's a two-way street right the cool thing about relationships is each party needs to give 100% to make the, the relationship work there's this false belief and I think it's partly responsible for the huge divorce rate that each party just gives 50% and that it has to be fair and equitable and you do these things I'll do those things and it's never 50% each party has to give 100% because there are times in a relationship where you've got nothing to give and you need somebody to be doing 100%. When I had my sudden cardiac arrest and dropped dead, I, I could do nothing. 
I was in a coma, right? I was frozen and in a coma. So my, my ex-husband had to do 100% of everything during that time period and there's times like that when you know he loses a job I lose a job and and you have to pick up the slack for one another and that's how you make your relationships work anyway that's our example for today that's our action item for today if you're struggling with any of this process ask me questions in the comments below we're gonna have a big Q&A session to go through everything to unfold everything to review the lessons that we've learned we'll have a, a bonus day 31 where we go over and we run through all of the things that we talked about and all the lessons that we learned that'll probably be a long one that'll probably be a uh, just like an hour-long call because we've learned a lot in 30 days right um, and we've done a lot and you'll see how much progress you've made in any area or all the areas of your life because guess what when we improve one area of our life all of a sudden the other areas come along with it so if I say hey I want to improve my personal relationships and my relationship once that improves guess what all the other areas of my life will improve right along with it that's it have an amazing day I will be with you tomorrow bye